Hi everyone, welcome. I'm down here in my wormery and a couple of my somewhat newer bins. These two 76 day old African nightcrawler bins are due for a feeding. It was only 10 days ago that we last checked in on them, but they got stuff that I figured would probably get eaten pretty quickly. Stuff like cucumber peels and tomato, rice. So I'm assuming that the leftovers, if there are any, are going to be few. And besides that, I got stuff piling up in my freezer that's just got to go. We're going to get these babies up on the bench and we're going to get them taken care of as far as a feeding and a check-in. So let's go over to the bench and get to work. So now if memory serves me correctly, the last time we checked in here, we included some of my prepared bedding along with the feeding. And my prepared bedding is just shredded paper and cardboard and leaves so it's a pretty nice combination of materials that the worms favor especially these types of worms the african night crawlers are known for really liking the sort of carbon based food that you give them so basically the kitchen scraps that they normally get stuff like what they're getting today all these brussels sprout leaves and cantaloupe rinds, all those kitchen scrap type foods generally are considered in a composting world as high, having a high nitrogen content and then you balance that out with materials that have a high carbon content and the high carbon content materials are generally just the bedding in which you house the worms and the African night crawlers do seem to have a tendency to really favor the, um, the carbon heavy type material so uh, I bet you we could probably even raise these African night crawlers on practically only a, like a bedding or a carbon rich food source but then where would that leave me as far as a place to put all my kitchen scraps so um, just like all my other worm bins they they get a mix of both but, um, but sometimes I do feel like I could probably go a little bit um, you know, heavier on giving them carbon-based stuff. And there is sort of this other thing going on lately in my worm bins that I am attempting to try to run most of my systems closer to being at capacity. Although you wouldn't know it just from looking at this system because we're not really very close to being at capacity here at all. I definitely remember bumping into this moldy stuff or maybe not I think it might have been in another bin that I bumped into some moldy material here I'm wondering if what we're noticing here as showing some mold growing on it maybe if it's I don't know it's hard to tell but maybe if we were to take a closer look at it maybe we can tell if it's the leftovers of the rice we gave them last time which already had some mold growing out on it anyway it is quite possible that that's what we're seeing there but I am pretty sure that Another thing that would have been included down here is some sort of bedding supplement to go hand in hand with their feeding. But I don't see much of it unless unless it's some of this shredded paper cardboard. That could very well be it because there, yeah, there's a whole bunch of it right here. I just didn't notice. I just got a little bit distracted, I guess, by that mold. And besides the moldy rice and other things, we might have also included some coffee and things like that. Coffee is a pretty staple feeding, feeding item down in my worm bins. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot more of this shredded paper cardboard, so that must have been what they got last time. This time, when it comes to um, giving them a carbon-rich bedding-type material to go hand-in-hand -hand with their feeding, what I'm opting for is just some kitchen scrap napkins, paper towels, some soiled paper plates from pizza the other night, and a lot of um, tomato sauce to boot. So, um, oh yeah, and I figured I would also throw in those top covering newspapers that we encountered when we first arrived because I've also got a couple nice replacement pieces of top covering newspaper we can throw in here. So all those pretty heavily weathered ones that we peeled off the top surface when we first arrived, we can 
plop them into the feeding zone too as additional bedding material to go with their feeding as well. And you can see there's a good bit of leftover shredded paper cardboard from the last check-in as well. All right. It's almost like I can smell some sort of a interesting fruity item. I wonder if it could be this over here. Well, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll eventually get broken down. Let's just make sure we've created a sufficient space into which we're going to plop in today's food. And let me see here. There were these pretty heavily soiled paper towels and napkins. But then I also had a couple somewhat cleaner ones over here on the side. So I thought maybe we would drop those in down near the bottom. And then this, um, these paper plates, I suppose we can try to fragment them into somewhat smaller pieces of material and drop them into the feeding zones possibly helping with their breakdown a little bit by reducing their size a bit and then let's not forget we've got all that weathered top covering newspaper but maybe we can even use that to sort of drape it over the top and kind of create a, a little sandwich where the where the kitchen scraps and the veggies and fruit items are sort of nested in between some paper products in essence shielding the worms from all this frozen stuff a little bit and then once it thaws out the worms can eventually make their way into here and start nibbling on it but this way we can apply our feeding with our conscience somewhat clear knowing that we're not uh, basically uh, exposing the worms to some frozen materials directly all right so I think even during the last check-in we were sort of noting how it was unusual to find leftovers of avocado in one of the bins but not in the other and it's also unusual that that avocado pit is not yet ready to be broken but then again I didn't really try very hard perhaps if I were to press harder it would give it certainly got some give I could feel it sort of being a little bit flexible under the pressure of my thumb but I try to resist the urge to go hog wild on something like that and apply too much pressure next thing you know it's going to slip between my fingers and go flying across the room and making a big mess so we're not going to succumb to the temptation <laughs> Now one of these was actually holding up pretty good, but I figured, you know what, I've got a couple new ones set aside here. So even before taking a peek in these systems to see how the top coverings are holding up, I made the decision ahead of time to just treat them to a couple nice new replacement. Top coverings, regardless of how good or bad these newspaper bits are holding up, a lot of times I do try to see how many uses I could squeeze out of these top covering newspapers but on this occasion I figured let's just get it down there as supplementary bedding and bring in fresh ones so that's our feeding so as we cover up here we're going to take this as an opportunity to kind of till up some of the drier materials that were not covered by the plastic some of the stuff that was kind of peeking out around the edge around the corners is still pretty dry so yeah I mean a lot of times it's my older systems where I worry about the material on the outskirts of the system kind of getting compacted and um, anaerobic or whatever that I like to just go in there to till around sometimes in these newer systems where I know that the material is a lot more airy and prone to drying I feel compelled to go in there to till things up mainly for the purposes of making sure that all the material is got a decent moisture content or if nothing else at least given the more dry stuff that's been out on the surface getting a little bit drier down lower and giving it a chance to also get damp and attract some worm traffic so I think it's a pretty good habit I remember not that long ago how I would sometimes go many feedings without even peeking into the edges of the bin 
only to come back eventually many weeks or maybe even months later to realize that something funny might be going on out there making me somewhat regret that I hadn't been more vigilant and keeping an eye on how things are going within the bin in places other than just the feeding zones so let's see here we ain't got much left to do here except just to do a little quick tilling of this edge as well and then we'll be done in the past I was always using oh, what is this how do you like that <laughs> oh did you see that some juices that actually came squirting out of this thing so there is actually some leftover avocado over here as well and we finally found it I think that was one of the weird things from the last check-in that I was a little bit taken aback by the fact that I couldn't spot any signs of the avocado that I sort of sensed was in here somewhere because when I've got buddy bins or sister bins or in the case of these two systems two systems that were both launched on the same day 76 days ago at this point I do attempt to try to keep things in sync and harmony for the most part so to find an avocado in one of them and not in the other seemed a little bit unusual so problem solved in that occasion but that brings us to the end of our check-in with our African night crawlers today receiving their seventh feeding tomorrow when the systems reach 77 days of age they'll, they'll now be 11 weeks old and they're coming along really good if you ask me I think the moisture content is great the materials all nice and flaky the worms look healthy they're making good progress on the food that we're giving them we're gradually building up the amount of material that they have to roam around in as well um, perhaps not as much as we're doing in some of my other systems where I am very close to being at capacity but I'm almost finding that to be working against me so perhaps here we don't go full bore on trying to attain that goal and just gradually keep adding a little bit of bedding here and there and working our way up to um, reaching the system's capacity so I've got a few things here that I need to take care of getting cleaned up and put away but I'm not going to keep you around for that because that's boring before I go there really quick let me just say thank you thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did as always please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go that's always really appreciated and if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.